Welcome back to Mathwino. Which is bigger, nine to the power sixty-three or six to the power ninety-three? How do you solve this question? Of course, bases different, and exponents also different. Hmm, they don't have the same values. Usually, we should do. Of course, we want to make the bases or the exponents have the same value. However, it won't be possible for this question. Hmm. Maybe we have other tricks. However, the best trick is by using division. Have you thought up what is the main line of this method? Of course, we should divide the left hand side by the right hand side and then compare this division with one. So that's our method. By division. Now, nine to the power sixty-three and six to the power ninety-three. Now I'm going to divide the left hand side by the right hand side. That means nine to the power sixty-three divided by six to the power ninety-three. So then, of course, what should we do? Now the exponents. Of course, you can find out that they are both divisible by three. It will not work since they are so large. However, if you take a look at the bases, nine and six, of course, they are also divisible by three. So that means I can write nine as three times three or three squared, and six as three times two. So nine, it is three squared. You can also write it as three times three. It's up to you, not me. Divided by six to the power of ninety-three. Okay, six. It is three times two. And then, ah, sorry, ninety-three. So then, what should you do? I'm gonna recommend these formulas to you. The first one, a to the power of m or to the power of n, it is equal to a to the power of m times n. Of course, it is also equal to a to the power of n and then a to the power of m. However, in this question, we don't have to use this. These two enough. Then. A times b all to the power of n. It is equal to a to the power of n then times b to the power of n. We shall continue solving it. Three to the power of two all to the power of sixty-three. By using this formula, it is equal to three to the power of two times sixty-three. That is one hundred twenty-six. And then the denominator. Three times two all to the power of ninety-three, so that is three to the power of ninety-three, and then times two times ninety-three to the power of ninety-three. We can see that on the denominator, the base three appears, and on the numerator as well. So what should we do? We also notice that. The exponents of these bases three are different. One hundred twenty-six and ninety-three. So now I'm gonna write this exponent one hundred twenty-six as ninety-three, then plus thirty-three. So then the numerator it can be written as three to the power of ninety-three, and then times Three to the power of thirty-three. Since ninety-three, then plus thirty-three, it is one hundred twenty-six. Then, is the term to the denominator. Three to the power of ninety-three times two to the power of ninety-three. On the numerator, on the denominator, three to the power of ninety-three appears at the same time. So they can cancel each other, and then. 
And then we have only to compare this guy, 3 to the power of 33 divided by 2 to the power of 93 with 1. So which is larger? Now let's start with 2 to the power of 93. It is more beautiful, isn't it? Of course, we can guess. And we guess that it is bigger than 3 to the power of 33. However, we don't know. We have to prove if it is right. If not, then this is larger. Now, try to prove that this guy is larger than 3 to the power of 33. Since the exponent is much, much bigger. Now, 2 to the power of 93. Of course, it is much bigger than 2 to the power of 66. Since 66 is 2 times 33. That is a good chance, isn't it? We know that 66 is 33 times 2. Or it would be better when we wrote 2 to the power of 2 times 33. By using this formula, a to the power of m times n is equal to a to the power of m or to the power of n. So that is 2 to the power of 2 and then or to the power of 33. The base, we know that 2 squared it is, of course, 4. So the base is 4. Oh, the base is 4. Hmm. It is equal to 4 to the power of 33. Isn't it? 2 to the power of 93 is much, much bigger than 4 to the power of 33. We've known that 2 to the power of 93 it is bigger than 4 to the power of 33. And we can notice that 4 to the power of 33, it has the same exponent as 3 to the power of 33. They have the same exponent, 33. We should compare 4 to the power of 33 with 3 to the power of 33. They have the same exponent. And 4 is bigger than 3. So 4 to the power of 33 is certainly bigger than 3 to the power of 33. 2 to the power of 93 is bigger than 3 to the power of 33. And what should we do? We want to get this form. Now, we can divide the both sides by 2 to the power of 93. Since it is positive, so the sign will not change. 2 to the power of 93 divided by 2 to the power of 93 is 1. And here is 3 to the power of 33 divided by 2 to the power of 93. And it will not change, so it is smaller. So that means it is smaller than 1. Oh my god, we got the answer. So here, we're smaller. And what does it mean if the division is smaller than 1? Of course, that means directly and correctly. The left hand side is absolutely smaller than the right hand side. And it was really, really successfully, wasn't it? Did you get it? And don't forget to give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more videos. We'll see you next time. Bye bye.